This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at flame tests. A flame test is a qualitative test that can be used to identify metal ions in solution. In a flame test, a sample containing a solution of metal ions is heated in a flame. As we can see, the different metal ions give different colors when heated in the flame. From left to right, we have barium, strontium, lithium, sodium, copper, and potassium. These colors can be used to identify the metal ions in solution. Next, we look at what causes these characteristic colors to be produced. When the sample containing the metal ions is heated in the flame, the electrons absorb energy and transition to higher energy levels. They are then said to be in the excited state. So on the left, we can see that when electrons absorb energy, they transition to higher energy levels. Here we can see electron transitions from n equals 2 to n equals 3, 4, 5 and 6. The different electron transitions absorb different amounts of energy. However, the electrons don't stay in the excited state forever. The electrons emit energy and transition back to the lower energy levels. So on the right, we can see that the electrons transition from higher to lower energy levels. When they do this, they emit energy. So to summarize, when electrons absorb energy, they transition to higher energy levels, and when they emit energy, they transition to lower energy levels. The energy emitted corresponds to the wavelength of visible light, which is between 400 and 700 nanometers. Here we can see the electromagnetic spectrum. This shows all the frequencies or wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. The visible spectrum corresponds to light with wavelengths of between 400 and 700 nanometers. These wavelengths are the ones that we see when the electrons transition to lower energy levels. The exact wavelengths of light emitted depend on the energy difference between the energy levels. Here we can see the emission line spectra for lithium, sodium, potassium and strontium. If we look closely, we can see that the wavelengths of light emitted are different for each element. This explains why each metal ion produces a different color when heated in the flame. So to summarize, each element has a different energy difference between the energy levels and produces a different color.